Welcome to this tutorial presented by oraclecoach.com. This is Claire Rajan and in this video segment I'll demonstrate how to write if statements in a PLSQL block. If statements are conditional statements that allow you to take actions based on a condition. I have SQL star plus open and I'm connected as the user HR. Before I begin to write any programs, uh, let me show you some data in the employees table for the employee whose first name is Nina. I'll be referencing this particular select statement in my programs uh, multiple times and therefore I wanted you to see the data uh, of this uh, particular employee's salary which is uh, 18,000. So uh, at this time uh, we are made aware that the salary of the employee called Nina is 18,000. Now I'm going to issue a set server out command so that when I write my programs and use a DBMS output line statements in them, the output is displayed on the screen. I'm now going to edit a file. I'm going to call it as C. And uh, within uh, the editor, I'm going to write a program that will use a simple if statement. So this program has a declaration section where I've declared a numeric variable called vSalary that's of number type, a 10,2. The body of the program has a select statement where I'm retrieving the salary into the memory variable for the employee whose first name was Nina. This is followed by a check uh, and uh, I'm referencing the memory variable. Now it's important that when you write the if condition, you always reference the memory variable and not the column name. So if I had written salary instead of V salary in this if statement, I would have got an error. The, the condition says if V salary greater than 15,000, then a DBMS output line earns more than Tom. At this time, we are uh, aware of the fact that Nina's salary is 18,000. 18,000 being greater than 15,000 makes this condition true. So this display statement should a uh, display earns more than Tom. So here I have the output uh, displaying the string earns more than Tom. Let me edit the program and change the value that's used uh, in the condition. I'm changing it to if V salary greater than 20,000 then earns more than Tom. Now as far as this condition goes, uh, because Nina's salary is 18,000, the condition will be false. However, because a simple if takes care of only what needs to be done when a condition is true, when I run the program in this way, it should not display anything on the screen. Here I have uh, the output saying the procedure successfully completed. However, there's nothing being displayed on the screen. Uh, I'm now going to modify the program so that I can use an else uh, uh, construct in the if statement. Now, if you recall, uh, an if else a construct is used when you have an action to take when the condition is true as well as when the condition is false. Okay, so let me edit the file. Uh, I have uh, the declaration to be the same as well as the select statement will be the same. Let me change this value back to 15,000 um, and then include an else So I have uh, the if statement as if V salary greater than 15,000 displayed earns more than Tom, else display earns less than Tom. Notice I have not written anything after the word else. It's understood that the else will take care of this condition being false. 
So uh, recalling Nina's salary, which was 18,000, 18,000 is greater than 15,000. So when I run this program, it should show me the string earns more than Tom. Here I have earns more than Tom being displayed on the screen. Let me clear my screen and edit the file one more time and uh, instead of 15,000 I'm going to change this to 20,000. Earlier when I had uh, shown you uh, the, the same program with an if statement and used 20,000 nothing was being displayed on the screen. That's because I had uh, written a simple if and uh, there was no else part to it. But because of the if else construct we have an action to take when the condition is false which would be true because Nina's salary is less than uh, 20,000. When I run the program it should show me the string earns less than Tom. Here we have the string earns less than Tom. Uh, so I've shown you the first two types of if statements. We'll now take a look at the third type of if statement which is your if else if uh, statement. Now before I do that uh, I'd like you to have a look at some data in uh, the employees table. So I have, I've written the query, select the first name, comma, salary from employees where department ID equal to 90. This is the department that Nina belongs to. There are three employees, Stephen, Nina and Lex, and their salary values are being displayed. Notice that Nina's salary is in between Stephen's and Lex's salary. It's less than Stephen's, but it's greater than Lex's. Now keeping that in mind, uh, I'm going to go back to my uh, file. I'm going to change this program to make use of an if else if construct. Here I have uh, my first check where I'm going to say if V salary greater than 24,000 earns more than Steven. Now instead of an else, I'm going to change this to an else if, write another condition saying if it is greater than 17,000 then earns more than Lex. And uh, I'm going to write an else DBMS output line lowest salary in the department. Now uh, let's look at how the program is going to behave. The salary of Nina is 18,000. 18,000 is less than 20,000, so this condition will be false. Moves on to the next check. 18,000 is greater than 17,000. This particular uh, condition is true. So when I run the program, it should show me the string earns more than Lex. Okay, so here we have earns more than Lex. Now let me take you back to the file. Uh, I forgot to mention one more, one thing about the if uh, statement uh, or rather the if else if statement when one of the conditions is satisfied which was in this case it was this condition that was satisfied the action that was done was earns more than lex now what would happen is when one of the conditions are met and the action is taken um, Oracle will move out of the entire if construct which would mean it will not process the if statement any further it will come out of the if which was this particular statement uh, in our case it's simply the end of the program so what would happen is it will end the PL SQL block and um, it would be completed so um, what I'm trying to say is then that when one of the actions are met it's going to come out of the entire if construct now um, let me come out of this file and let me update some of the data in the table. I'm going to update uh, the employees table and change Nina's salary from uh, 18,000 to a value that is less than Lex's salary. So it tells me one row updated. If I take a look at the salary of the employee Nina, it should now show me 15,000, which would mean if I run the program again, uh, the condition where 
uh, Nina's salary is greater than 17,000 will not be met. That would mean all the conditions will not be met. So the only thing that Oracle will have to do is take care of, of the, the program or the if statement using the else part, which would indicate that it was the lowest salary in the department. Let me edit the file uh, one more time just to show you that the else is optional. I'm going to remove the entire else part of it. So I have just two checks. I have if V salary greater than 24,000, else if V salary greater than 17,000, end if. Running my program, I should not see anything on the screen. The reason being, the two conditions that I wrote were not met. However, I didn't uh, define what had to be done when all of them were not met and therefore nothing is displayed on the screen. In this tutorial, I showed you how to write the if statement uh, in a PLSQL block. I hope you find this tutorial useful. For other videos, tutorials and articles, you can take a look at the oraclecoach.com website. Thank you for your time and thank you for listening.